Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at probably the most important component, pods. So pods are the smallest unit in Kubernetes, and pods abstract away the container layer so you can directly interact with the Kubernetes layer. In my mind, the smallest unit really is containers, but I guess they're talking about like newly defined uh, components that are part of Kubernetes, okay? Uh, and so here is that graphic there. Uh, and so a pod is intended to run one application in multiple containers. So notice down below that we have one, two, three, four containers. They're all running the same app, like the same app over and over again. Now, uh, so that the idea here is a pod would be a database pod, a job pod, a front app pod, a backend pod. pod. Um, and what we could say is, is if we use the term service like the way we're supposed to, a service would define a continuously running type of application. So you could say database service, job service, front end service, which I'm about microservices, that's how we describe it, but that's the idea there. You can run multiple apps in a pod, but those containers will be tightly dependent. I don't even know how to do that, but the idea is if you wanted these all to be slightly different, you could, but I, I again, I have no idea how to do that. I don't know why you would do that. Um, so each pod gets its own private IP address. So look up here, there's an IP address and containers will run on different ports. So notice here, 3000, 3001, 8080, 81. Containers can talk to each other via local host. So if you have a container, I will just clear on out this uh, eraser stuff. If container one wants to talk to container two, all it has to do is talk to it on its port number on its own local host. And that is how simple communication is from container to container communication, which we'll talk about because we have a whole section on um, uh, different types of cluster communication. Each pod can have a shared storage volume attached. All containers will share the same volume. So the idea here is you see this line here drawn to the pod to a persistent volume, APV. And we talk about persistent volumes and uh, persistent volume claims. We'll get to that later. When the last remaining container dies or maybe crashes in a pod, so does the pod. Uh, but when replacement pods is created, the pod will have a new IP address that will be assigned. So IP addresses are ephemeral. I never can say that right, ephemeral, <laughs> or temporary for pods. So they don't, uh, uh, by default, persist. And that's why we're going to need Kubernetes services, which we will talk about in this course. So to get pods and show their IP addresses, it's very common. You'll type in get pod, get pods, and then doing this hyphen O wide. Okay, 